Buddy and I out watching the pros. Hey, he's off. He's on his toes. Half's almost over. Can we tie the score? It's up. It's good. We let out a roar. Right about now, a smoke would go fine. He said, those taste too light. Try one of mine. He said, Viceroy tastes the way you'd like a filtered cigarette to taste. Not too strong, not too light. Viceroy's got the taste that's right. Home team won and we had a ball. And the taste of Viceroy topped it all. As you smoke all seven leading filter brands, you'll find some too strong, some too light. But Viceroy's got the filter for the taste that's right. Not too strong, not too light. Viceroy's got the taste that's right. That's right, smoke Viceroy for the taste that's right. From under these endless miles of white cloth come the incredible fortunes of Connecticut tobacco and a fabulous story. As a novel, this story fascinated millions in many languages with the hyped up, big money pace of the people who make a modern tobacco empire. Now, it's an exciting new motion picture. Like the book, the picture takes its name from the young man who starts things happening when he walks into this valley. A young man with a mark of the future on him. He's called Parrish, and he's played by the sensational young star of a summer place. Hello, I'm Troy Donahue. I play Parrish and I think I'm the luckiest guy on earth. In a minute, you'll see why. Because I find more than just myself under those white cloths. I find that every man, if he's lucky, has three important girls in his life. The one who introduces him to love, the one who teaches him what love is not, and the one, if he's lucky, who will stand by him for the rest of his life. Aren't you going to kiss me hello? You mean right in front of everybody? Think twice, because that's the only way I'd want you. There ain't nothing wrong with the old ma that Jed Ray can't cure. Look, shut up. She's no cheap tramp like... You know, she can have as big a yen for somebody as I can. Damn it, is that all you can think about? It sure seemed like all you thought about the minute you moved in here. Are you mind, darling? Hello, darling. Mind if I come along for the ride? If it's worth the beating. You can take quite a beating for $20 million, darling. You've been very discreet, Parrish. And there's nothing wrong. It's just that I hate to see people making dirty cracks about you and him. I want Judd Rake to ask me to marry him. What do you suggest I do about it? Stop it! Oh, shut up! What right of you walking in here and, and screaming like a maniac? You're still a common garden variety tramp. If I ever catch you within 10 feet of my fence again, I'll come over after you and knock your brains out. Look out, Parrish! These are the exciting young people, finding their way, fighting, groping, challenging the old power, questioning the old morals. And these are the three faces you'll never forget. Connie Stevens as Lucy, Diane McBain as Allison, Sharon Hugony as Paige. They're all trying life on for size, in conflict with everything. Everything that erupts in the dangerous emotion and blazing drama of today. Introducing the world's newest, silliest, and hamburger-eatingest clown, Ronald McDonald. Now, where is that clown? Oh, Ronald. 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 Hey, Ronald. Here I am, kid. Hey, isn't watching TV fun? Especially when you got delicious McDonald's hamburgers. Ronald, you can't be on TV and watch it at the same time. Now, come on and meet the boys and girls. Oh, we've already met. I know we're going to be friends, too, because I like to do everything boys and girls like to do. Especially when it comes to eating those delicious McDonald's hamburgers. A magic tray here keeps me well supplied. McDonald's hamburgers, 
french fries, and milkshakes. Watch for me on TV. We'll have lots of fun. He's Ronald McDonald, the hamburger happy clown. A McDonald's drive-in restaurant is his favorite place in town.